of all mankind. Does not the ear test words and the mouth taste its food? Wisdom is with aged men and with length of days there is understanding. Do you not know that if you will look around you, God will speak to you in amazing, amazing ways? Even the creatures that he created will, what, speak to you. Even the donkey, even the dumb donkey he created will speak to you. Isn't that interesting? (laughs) God says, look around. I'm speaking to you every day of your life. Every day. Every day. When the donkey speaks, you need to listen. Wished we had time to get into the speech of the donkey. (laughs) That's very interesting. Very interesting of what she said. Though she had been beaten three times. What will it take to get your attention and mine? Again, I must say to you, on the authority of God's Word, God is about to move in ways that we have never heard and never seen. And He's going to reveal Himself in the most unusual circumstances of our lives. Because as I read the Word of God correctly, And as I see the signs of the times around me and around you, the Bible says when you see all of these things begin to come together, earthquakes, pestilence, famine, all of this stuff, all of this this bad stuff, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. God is about to reveal himself. I don't want to miss that. Do you want to miss that? I don't want to miss that. I want to be still before God so that God can speak to me any way in which he chooses to speak to me. God is moving. God is moving. And little did Balaam know that when he went his own stubborn way, how God would move. And he testifies in the end of this story, Oh, God, you've got my attention. This donkey talked to me, God. Did you, God, did you know this donkey talked to me? God said, yes, I opened his mouth. <laughs> and he said, oh, God, forgive me. Forgive me. I didn't see the angel, and I didn't hear your voice. I missed it. I missed it. Let's stand to our feet in prayer. I'm going to ask the pianists and Julia if they'll come and lead us in just a moment in the invitational hymn, Just As I Am. As they're getting ready, would you bow with me for prayer? Oh God, forgive us for missing so much of you. Forgive us of not seeing what you're trying to show us. And forgive us of not hearing your word that is all around us. Lord, you used an angel and you used a little donkey to speak to your erring servant. Our question today, Father, is what will you use to speak to us? And God, our prayer is that whatever you use, help us to be open to it, whatever it is. Because with you, all things are possible. And we don't magnify the donkey because it spoke. We don't put it on a pedestal because it spoke. But we recognize that it did exactly what God told it to do. And when you reveal yourself, and when we see your word, and read your word, and come to know and understand your word, then there's two choices, and two choices alone. 
That is either to obey the word of God or disobey it. To obey our God or to disobey him. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you speak to every heart here in this audience today, as well as my own. Thank you for the lesson of the donkey and the angel. Thank you, God, that you're in, in the things around us. And you're above them because you're God. And you can do all things. There's nothing impossible for you. And Lord, you can even change our life today. You can change the direction of our lives. You can change the motivation of our lives. You can change the destiny of our lives if we'll just be still enough to hear the still, small voice of God. Thank you. Thank you for speaking. Thank you for showing us. And now may we respond in like that we will say, yes, Lord. If you're here today lost outside of Jesus Christ, I pray that you have heard the voice of God this morning and that your heart has been convicted of your sin like Balaam and you would cry out, oh God, please forgive me. And he will. And he will. Maybe you're here as a Christian. You've wandered away from God. You've let your stubbornness cause you to miss the will of God, the perfect will of God for your life, the richest of his blessings for your life. You've let the desires of your heart be a blockage of the desires of the heart of God for you. That can be turned around today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.